Hi, I'm Eric Visser with the State Games of Michigan 2010. For, you, for those of you who don't know, the State Games is an Olympic amateur style competition uh, for the state of Michigan. Anybody can join. There's 13 sports this year. And with us to help us out with a little bit of hockey is Ron Baum. He is on the West Michigan Sports Commission board and he is the head of the State Games of Michigan Steering Committee for Hockey. How are you doing? Good to, have, good to be here today, Eric. Thank thanks. you. Thanks, thanks. Thanks for letting us talk to you a little bit about uh, the hockey. Um, first of all, let's kind of set up what we're talking about. What's so special about hockey this year? Um, in terms of the structure of it, we decided we would break all the high school teams. There's a hundred and about 166 high schools now offering ice hockey in Michigan. And so from all the way up in Calumet and Houghton and Hancock area, all the way down to near Toledo and the south mm -hmm. end of town of the state, uh, we've broken all these teams into uh, eight different teams, and they will compete in two different divisions, uh, Griffin's division and Red okay. Wing division. So there'll be four teams in each one of those, and the teams are divided up accordingly. They'll be playing a pool play. Uh, first of all, round robin pool play within their division, and then based on, on uh, who comes out in the top two brackets of that, they will go on and play for the gold, silver, and bronze medals on Sunday afternoon. Okay, cool. How, uh, how are these high school athletes going to get on the different teams in the areas? What, sure. how, if I were in high school, what, what would I have to do? Sure, that's a great question. Well, first of all, um, we're, we're going to have what we feel are the top ninth 10th and 11th grade high school players in the state of Michigan here this okay. summer. We have anywhere from 18 to 28 high schools on each team. So wow. you're, you're going to register online with the West Michigan Sports Commission and uh, sign up for a tryout in a given area. And those trials will start shortly after the MHSAA, the Michigan High School Athletic Association playoffs, uh, to take advantage of the conditioning of the athletes and so on and just to kind of get the team selected. You're going to be getting top-notch athletes from high schools across the state. Now, what does that mean for college recruiting? Is there going to be any involvement with that? or Well, what's the yeah, that's a great question. Fortunately, we have a, uh, a gentleman by the name of Bob Mancini who is a USA uh, director in three-state area director, and he lives here in Michigan. And Bob has actually agreed to be on our steering committee. His job on our steering committee is to make sure that every junior A um, every college coach and NHL program and the Central Scouting Bureau for the National Hockey League are notified and invited to this event. So cool. he seems to feel we'll have quite a few of those people showing up because look at the select group of kids that will be participating right, right. in this tournament. So is this event approved by the high schools or is it sanctioned in any, in any way? Well, Eric, I think uh, first of all, I know that uh, the West Michigan Sports Commission people got together with the Michigan High School Athletic Association people, the people that are responsible and oversee high school athletics in the state of Michigan. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was uh, quite, a, quite a while ago, actually. And uh, so we have been, and we have been working closely with, with MHSAA as well to make sure that everything we do are, are in the guidelines of their program so uh, we don't get any players that are involved in this or coaches or schools. Right. Uh, with a problem with the MHSAA, so you know they're they're behind this program, and they're working side side by side with us here. And then um, we're going to be in a, a USA Hockey sanctioned event. Uh, the Na the National Hockey League is is connected now with trying to in encourage uh, players into USA Hockey, and uh, and so we're just excited about that. That USA Hockey is going to really be uh, behind us for sure as well. So if somebody wants to be a sponsor for a team, let's say one of the many teams that is going to be in this event, how would they do that? Is, is, it, is that an option for you? or? Yes, it is definitely where you always look for sponsors um, for either individual teams mm -hmm. um, in their region, their area of the state, uh, or overall, and which would they, of course, would be on the, the state games website then for hockey. 
Okay. So um, we have some interest already been shown. And all this is just going to serve to really bring the cost down for each individual player. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're trying to keep that cost down as low as possible. And with this kind of support, we're going to be able to do that. I think the uh, players and parents of the players are going to be shocked at the, the low cost of this to mm -hmm. get involved. Mm -hmm. Well, it's good talking with you. Um, again, there's always need for volunteers with the State Games of Michigan. All the coaches are volunteers. Um, Ron's volunteering here most of his time. He's done a lot for the sport and he keeps continuing to help us out. So if you're looking interested in volunteering for the State Games of Michigan, check out the website as well. There's a link to uh, volunteer information there as well.